One of the biggest St. Patrick's celebrations in the country returns to Lackawanna County. Many braved a little rain for the parade, and Newswatch 16's Emily Kress shows us all the excitement from the Electric City. People filled the streets of downtown Scranton to show their Irish pride, all for the 62nd annual St. Patrick's Parade. The Quantico Marine Corps Band kicked things off. Oh, it's lots of fun. Love to see the marchers, the local bands, the bagpipes, and the people who just want to have fun. The lineup made its way from Wyoming Avenue through the streets of Scranton. Colorful floats, Irish step dancers, and music from local high school bands are just some of the things people come to see in the Electric City. For some people, the parade is an all-day affair. We start with brunch at my house, 9 a.m., and we come down to the parade route. We would have preferred nicer weather, but what are you going to do? Parade goers tell Newswatch 16 they weren't going to let a little bit of rain put a damper on parade day. We came prepared with the tent. You had to have the pop-up this year. Without the wind, it's even better. The adults are not the only ones having fun. For the kids, there's a lot to love about the parade. I like it when they throw candy. <laughs> it's really fun because there's people, um, like there's marching bands everywhere and they throw candy and fun stuff at you. I like watching it, the music. I like getting a lot of candy, spending my time, spending time with my parents. It's, uh, it's very fun because um, we all have red hair, so we're very Irish. My favorite part is, um, uh, the floats. The St. Patrick's Parade Association of Lackawanna County says more than 140 groups marched in this year's parade. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Scranton.